Let us take another example. Let us take another example where we are given two expressions and asked to find out whether they are equivalent or not. So the left hand side part is x or y the whole prime and on the right hand side you have x prime and y prime. So are these two circuits or are these two expressions equivalent or not? Uh, we are going to use the same true table method. So feel free to pause the video if you want to work, work it out on your own. I'm, I'm just going to start uh, solving the problem. So you have two inputs, x and y, which means you're going to have four combinations. First combination is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Now let's solve for the left hand side part. So in left hand side you first want to find x or y. That is nothing but the and operation, uh, the or operation. So that's 0, 1, 1, 1. Now we need to find x or y the whole prime. So you basically invert the result of x or y. So that will be 1, 0, 0, 0. Now let's go for the right hand side part. So for in, in the right hand side you first want to find x prime which is the inverse of x. That will be 1, 1, 0, 0. Then you want to find y prime which is the inverse of y. That is basically 1, 0, 1, 0. Now you want to find x prime and y prime. That is the AND operation. So 1 and 1 is a 1. 1 and a 0 is 0. 0 and a 1 is a 0. 0 and 0 is a 0. Now if you compare the truth tables, you can clearly see that x, uh, x or y whole prime is equivalent to x prime or uh, x prime and y prime. So if you do not find a one-to-one -one map, then you can clearly say that the circuits are not equivalent. But in this case, the circuits are equivalent. This is known as De Morgan's theorem. So as per De Morgan's theorem, x or y whole prime is equivalent to x prime or and y prime and x y whole prime is equivalent to x prime or y prime. It's a very useful theorem that is used to solve many complicated problems, especially when trying to simplify Boolean expressions. We're going to use this quite a lot.